All right, everybody, we're back to the workshop today, um, back into rust repair. We're going to continue along. I uh, suspect you might have missed some stuff, um, but, you know, you'll get over it, I'm sure. Um, I've since hacked this open, as you can tell, replaced the lip from here to here. I've got the next piece, which is fairly straightforward. It's just going to go like that, which is effectively that piece, which just comes down and goes to here. And then we'll work our way across. Once I do that, I can put this piece back in. I might do it like that. And uh, side note, we, uh, I think uh, a loyal viewer gave us uh, a hint that there were some radius rods on the wonderful world of Gumtree, and he was correct. Um, we went and visited the shop. I've actually been there before. It's called Fish Shop Falcons, as in F-I-S-H-O-P. And he specialises in early falcons to xy but occasionally dabbles in xa to xc's but very rarely and he had some xc radius rods 50 bucks a pair and um you can't haggle at that price and they look identical to the xb ones although the nut is slightly bigger but the thread isn't screwed so they the good one of those will find its way into the i'll probably put them both in because they actually look like they're in better shape um, but obviously use the XB like ends because they there are slot the bits that go around the bushings are actually a little bit different but um, yeah they'll find their way in so cheers to the tip off of that um, and fish shop falcons he's awesome like if you need anything like I said from air uh, I can't remember what the first model of falcon is but all the way to XY he is awesome to deal with he's just off port road in south australia he's on i think his address is 36 wodonga street um and he's just super awesome to deal with reasonably priced he's actually cheaper than rare spares <coughs> but you didn't hear me say that <laughs> um he's a he, and he can get all the same stuff his parts availability for early falcons is unbelievable he's got all the same contacts as rare spares and he can get them actually a little bit cheaper so that's a hint for anybody who's chasing early falcon stuff in adelaide um but yes he has a, it's an awesome workshop um so yeah he wrecks he's been re wrecking them for yonks and yonks and yonks um so if you need any of that stuff i'd strongly recommend you go visit him he's got a facebook page um so pretty damn awesome um but yes enough out of this we also got a fresh piece of workshop equipment as I trip over a cord on the ground. We have a, well, I, I call it a guillotine, um, but there could be a 50 different names. Look how long that rod is. <laughs> um, but yes, this is gonna make life so much easier. And it's actually made Germany. Coming from Paramount Browns, I expected it to be Chinese. It is not Chinese. And um, yeah, wish I had that earlier, but Money is a wonderful thing, and it didn't allow me to have it till now. But how cool is that? So now we have a cutter, a folder, a shrinker. So we've got most things now that can do a lot of stuff. But, yeah, that's a nice little intro. But, yeah, definitely hit up Fish Shop Falcons. Oh, he also got me this for the XB. That was there, too. He'd cut that out of a car. That gives me the bucket seat brace and the console bracket. So, how awesome is that? Um, yeah, so back here, we're going to weld this in in a second. Um, I tend to drill my holes after I've welded it in. It also cleans up the steel with the drill bit. So, I'll copper spray that side. Stick that in. Um, grind it down, and you won't even know. And I'll weld up these little baby holes here while I'm at it. So, I'll clamp that in in a second and get cracking.
Alrighty, I didn't want to bore you with tons and tons of grinding, um, but there we have it. Lips in, welded. Just got to tap that down a little bit right there. It's not a showstopper, you won't even see that when you put sealer across the edge of that. But um, yeah, so now from there to here, which is nearly half, all rust free. So we just got to do across here, but I'm going to put this next. I'm going to put the ID tag and piece of plenum um, back in. Obviously I might need to use a magnet. I mean, it came out of there, so it should go back in. Um, put that back in, and then I might do this piece here and put that one back on as well. That way this whole side's finished up. And then we can just, just focus on the middle. So it'll be from here across will be done. So there you go. And there we have it, the new piece is in, welded it up. Just gotta wire wheel it, clean it, grind it, and uh, then I could put this piece in. Uh, interestingly enough, um, in between 50 other things, we've been um, cleaning up the XB parts. <laughs> and we took one of the upper control arm bushings out. And I'm uh, really glad I bought new ones. Uh, so that one's quite heavily worn. I don't know how long that would have lasted, but certainly seen better days. I mean, I, th I know you could probably, um, if they look like that, you could have cleaned them and re-greased them and stuck them back in, but uh, when I saw that, I was like, eh, dear. That one's game over. Game over, mate. Um, and, yeah, so this is all side information. It's not related to the XY, but there's one stripped, sandblasted and painted control arm. So that's looking lovely. I did grind myself a little, uh, little D into this one and a P into the other one, so I know which side they came from. I know, I think they're probably um, universal, but just in case. Um, so yeah, they're looking smashing. But yes, back into this. Lovely. And that is that, looking lovely. Um, I'll grind these down when I have, and I'll buy some more belt sanding belts. Um, so no big issue. Um, so now, I reckon we can stick on the corner plate. I'll throw some copper spray over here, because that's where the actual welds are gonna go. Clean up here a little bit. Stick the next piece on, but yes, that's back on. So I know we cut it in about 15 million pieces, but it's looking okay now. Um, so effectively all the sides done through to here, and all we gotta do is there and put the front back on. And then we'll be giggling like schoolgirls. There we go, that wraps up this corner. We're gonna be working on the XC coupe that's behind me um, for the next probably week. So what I'll be doing is just throwing some etch over this over there and then um, just packing up here and we'll come back to this uh, shortly. But at least that gets that section on, that section on, all of this repaired, this piece back on um, and looking good, looking good. So realistically all we've got left is that middle section, whoops, pan up a little bit, and then just put that top piece back on once I make a new lip for it and obviously grind down some welds when I have some more belt sanding belts and possibly some more Rolox. So that'll wrap up the XY for a while. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, well, this repair. Actually it turned out pretty good, I reckon. So it might not be the longest video, but at least it's something.